What the heck is a full bridge rectifier in under two minutes? There's two types of electricity. AC is squiggly, it's made by generators and it's used by motors. DC is a straight line, it's made by batteries and solar panels and it's used by phones. Rectification is the process of turning AC into DC. Rectifiers are what turns AC into DC. Rectifiers are made out of diodes. Diodes are like one-way channels for electricity. If you put five volts here, you'll see five volts here because the electricity flowed through it. But if you put five volts here, you will read nothing here because the electricity can't flow this way. Electrons can flow this way, electrons cannot flow this way. This is why full bridge rectifiers are made out of diodes, because if you take four of them and put them together like this, then you can put any voltage on these two terminals. All the electrons will have to be forced upwards because they can't go against the diodes. So all the electricity pulls up at the top and there's none at the bottom. So that becomes your power and your ground. You can put any voltage, any squiggly voltage or whatever on these two terminals and it will come out as DC on top. You can put it on the other side. You can have any combination of squiggly voltages on these two terminals and it will always come out out as DC on the top and bottom. An easier way to get a full bridge rectifier than making one yourself out of diodes is to buy any one of the pre-made solutions that you can find. They're all basically the same as this. This is cool because if you take a motor and you attach a windmill to it, then you can make the wind spin the motor and you can attach the output of the motor to a full bridge rectifier. Then you can take the two outputs of the full bridge rectifier, which are DC, connect that to a voltage regulator, and use that to charge your phone.